Hagan starting to get that look in his eyes. A little interesting subplot as we get set for the Top Fuel final. Don Schumacher racing, John Force racing, tied in the national event win column, thanks to Matt Hagan now at 2.37. And there's a fair reporting Don Schumacher did in four classes. John Force, only funny car. Thus they far. will break that tie here. Let's check in with the stat guy, Lewis Bloom, for some data. Tony Schumacher backing up his Army race car, looking to win his 700th round of racing and his 77th quality. A lot of sevens. Only Warren Johnson and John Force have won more rounds of racing and drag racing. That is upcoming here. As you take a look at the Sarge, he's got a stranglehold on the point lead in top fuel. But Funny Car just got to be a whole lot more interesting as Hagen takes the lead. Where's the Dewar Dunn line? Right there. there. Hello, John Force. Get to work, Courtney. Well, the road to the final for both of these drivers completely different. You saw Tony Schumacher making those consistent runs. Brittany got a uh, lucky break the first two rounds. And boy, came out and ran a very good number in the semifinal. The reaction times have been good. Tony Schumacher and that other lane, uh, they're always good. He had a great one in the semifinals. Tony seems to usually get better as the rounds go on. Fourth attempt for Brittany to become a first-time winner in Top Fuel. To do it, she's got to be Top Fuel's winningest racer. Sarge does it again. <laughs> what? what a race. And I'm not talking just a top fuel final. I'm talking the entire event this weekend. It has been wild. Tony's 77th career win, his fifth at Maple Grove, his first, though, in the Mike Green era, has opened up a can of what you know what on the competition. He has a 134 point lead in top fuel with only two races to play. Mike Green, what kind of a stranglehold do you think you put on the countdown to the championship with that win right there? Well, I don't know about that. I mean, there's a lot of really good cars, and we got two races, a lot of points left out there. But, uh, you know, I was a little disappointed. Our car didn't run down the track, but obviously Tony did a great job all day. I mean, he was just driving his butt off. I mean, if anybody wants to win, it's the championship any first. I mean, he's just uh, really is doing a great job. The whole team is, and, uh, you know, just a little disappointed didn't go down the track, but but pretty happy that, uh, you know, we padded our points lead a little bit and uh, looking forward to uh, going to Vegas. You bet. See you there. All right. Thank you. Another interesting note, Tony Schumacher wins from the number one qualifying position. That hasn't happened since Charlotte in over a year. Mike Dunn is putting the Dewar Dunn line below number one. I'm I can't fault you for that one, partner. And the reason it looks like that, everybody below it is underwater. Good night. They are sinking as Tony Schumacher's got a stranglehold on it. Tony Schumacher may have dodged a bullet there. Tony, what went through your mind when you had that problem? I was not happy. <laughs> it went out there and shook, and I thought, oh, man, she's going down the track. And, uh, you know, I, I squeezed the throttle. Mike's been beating on me to just stop, let it calm down, squeeze, and roll back into it. And, uh, you know, I've done that before at this track. I remember racing Jim Head in the finals uh, years ago, winning a championship that way. Ran a 57 pedal in it. But, hey, for the Army, for Mike Green, and uh, Napa, all the people that support us, man, Matco Tools, we just... The adversity we've been through, man, and, and we've been two years of taking a lot of heat uh, that we needed to make changes, but we stuck firm, man. We stuck with our guys. And I'll tell you what, here, hold this real quick. I carried a Purple Heart with me today. I carried it on every run. And uh, you know what? For that number one qualifier, uh, Jinx, you just got to have the right luck with you, man. I believe in God, and I believe God put me here for a reason. And, boy, I'll tell you what, man. It's outstanding. Texas, baby. We've won three. I moved to Texas. We've won three out of the four races. we got a commanding lead right now. It's not over yet by any means, but uh, we got a great race car, man. Mike Green and Neil, they gave me a great car for three runs, and I had to save us on one. But all in all, I think we just got lucky that Brittany didn't get down there. She's going to win, and I know she's going to win against me. That's going to be her first win. Everybody After four does. intense Everybody. countdown yeah. races, the NHRA MLA Yellow Drag yeah. Racing Series drivers yeah. and teams have three weeks to get re-energized for the wow. final two races, which you know will be fantastic. Stick around next as we've got Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series action from Dallas. Yeah. For our entire ESPN2 yeah. crew, I'm Dave Reed. Thanks for joining us today on the NHRA MLA Yellow Drag Racing Series from Maple Grove. So long.